cork and bottle presented with these three wines. So they had the Muscadet, the Sauvignon, and oh, I'll move this all out of the way, the Gamay. Um, so let me just go through them from left to right today, which I've got here. Um, it's quite uh, kind of nice, kind of melon, white yellow melon coming through. Expect more exotic f f flavors to come there, and a bit of a, a yeasty note as well as sort of um, the oak kind of notes coming through. But this is kind of more of a pleasant, easygoing kind of wine. Much more lighter uh, than I expected uh, for Muscadet, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's decent enough. Uh, the next one, which is the Sauvignon, um, this is from Loire. So I find this a bit more green, just touching on the Alioti sort of uh, grape, um, green apples, green pears as a sort of flavour profile. Light body, acidity kind of higher. Um, the alcohol was plain a bit, so the, it kind of was slightly unbalanced. Again, matching with the Muscadet as well. But refreshing light, but yeah, there is a kind of um, unbalancing about it. And with the Gamay, obviously usually known from the Beaujolais, this is from the Loire again, all three are. Um, this one I find to be a bit more meaty on the nose, and also meaty on the finish of the flavour. Um, it's, uh, yeah, definitely got that kind of smokier notes on this, which is kind of interesting. It actually, I think it's more of a food pairing wine. And I wouldn't usually say that for a Gamay. Yeah, then the tannins are a bit more pronounced in this one, so it's quite interesting the acidity quite low. Um, overall, quite nice. I did prefer the gamay out of the three, just because it's slightly more interesting. Yeah, cheers.